I was yeah. wondering, I noticed the other day on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's website that the, the Sex Pistols famously said, we're not coming, this is all no, ridiculous, John, this is John not John punk rock. John said that without asking us. Ah, I see. Yeah. So I was going to wonder, because I noticed you guys, you're, you're listed on the page. Did they send you the trophy? Oh, show and tell. I love show and tell. Love show and tell. And it even comes with sound effects. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> even better amazing there it is wow <laughs> amazing I, I wasn't supposed well it's not i wasn't supposed i, I know the bloke the where well, he used to work with, i forget his name now lovely guy who was sort of in the archive thing and i said can't you just send it to me he said we can't and then i was doing like a double airline to with sylvain sylvain who actually presented that to me when we went to cleveland oh, wow. and i picked it up and i was trapped and it's like blinking heavy and I said, oh, well, I'm, you know, I'm traveling light, you know, a bit heavy to come around. He said, oh, we'll send it to you. And I said, well, why didn't you just send it to me in the first place? <laughs> you have to sign this thing that you're not going to put it on eBay, you know. But, um, but I would do that, you know. No. So, there you go. so you the... appreciate the recognition and the acknowledgement yeah. that you did something? It's, like, it's nice to have a badge, you know. I know the nice. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is probably some kind of business enterprise, really. And John didn't want to do it because... He wanted to bring all his mates and he would have had to spend thousands of dollars on the table for them all. So that's why he did do it, really. You know, so there's always the story behind the story. Right, yeah. of course. Yeah. But, that's what yeah. keeps everyone intrigued. I'd rather have it than not have it. 